Hello everybody and welcome! Today I would like to talk to you about the ASA and Roscosmos joint mission ExoMars. Well, basically they sent up something with a proton rocket, depicted here, somehow. And, well, the mission had in fact two goals. The main goal was to enter Mars orbit and deliver a probe, the TGO, Trace Gas Orbiter, which is supposed to search for some gases like methane and such in the very very upper reaches of Mars' atmosphere, and therefore could possibly determine if life has ever existed on Mars, or even does exist now. Okay. The other one was the thing that was around in the media a lot, the Schiarapelli lander. Well, that lander actually was just a bonus to the main mission. It was actually just a test for a future mission where ESA would like to land a rover on Mars. And well, something went wrong. You see, the descent process was uh, in a few stages. First, a heat shield would absorb the atmospheric pressure and heat buildup. Then, of course, a parachute would stage and will slow the vehicle down sufficiently so that they could drop the heat shield. And once that was done, uh, the lander itself would exit the fairing and then start its rockets. But as you can see here, this is what really happened. The lander got stuck in the fairing. If ESA would have used Kerbal Space Program, they would have been able to simulate this. Look at that. It could not have possibly worked in real life if it doesn't work in Kerbal Space Program, doesn't it? Okay, all joking aside, I really hope that ESA will find out what went wrong and will be able to improve on their calculations and specifications for the future rover mission. In the end, we all profit as humanity when space exploration succeeds and not fails miserably. So let's hope that the trace gas orbiter can find something interesting and transmit it back to Earth. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.